the last room to be addressed on the upstairs of this 1902 farmhouse was the east-facing guest room. At some point in the late 1950s, early 1960s, the room had been completely renovated in dark walnut, dark walnut paneling, dark walnut doors, everything was dark walnut. About 25% of this room was a full wall of built-ins, drawers, cabinets, and a closet. Even a vanity with a mirror and fluorescent lighting was added at some point. There was no electrical that worked in this room except for the light on the ceiling. None of the outlets work and the floor was nothing but a plywood subfloor. This room was cold and dark and was in desperate need of a makeover. But we had put so much time and effort into the new master bedroom and the new upstairs bathroom that I knew that we really needed to take an easier approach to this room. A gut job was out of the question. The day bed, some vintage inspired bedding and curtains, and an area set up for tea parties for teddy bears was what was in order at this time. However, the room was still dark and cave-like, and I knew that the time would come when I would just have to get out the spray gun and paint everything. I took the last two gallons of my buttercream paint, and I mixed it with a gallon of white paint that I had. I painted the ceiling, I painted the walls, I painted the drawers inside the closet, outside the closet, and I even painted the mirror on the old vanity. But once it was all done, the room brightened up immensely. It was already such a drastic change. Now that it had been painted, it became very evident that some cosmetic changes needed to be brought into this room to give it some life. I found some wood embellishments at my local big box store and I used wood glue to affix them to the top of the closet doors. I first painted them with a base of green paint and then covered them with the yellow and then lightly sanded so the colorings would come through. We also installed the other light that I was able to get on clearance. It matches the light fixture in the master bedroom just across the hall. Now that the vanity had been painted, it needed something to brighten it up and make it more of a focal point. I was able to go to a craft store and get this vinyl adhesive to put up in place to remind us, never go to bed angry, always kiss me goodnight. Each five-fold closet door received vanity mirrors. I affixed them with clear mounting hardware and also added new crystal doorknobs. They tie in well with the new light fixture. My son was handy once again in assisting in picking out a carpet remnant and lying that in place for me. No more plywood floors. And now look how beautiful this room is. The paint has brought in a new breath of life into this room. The carpeting, the vintage inspired bedding, and the light reflects off of the mirrors beautifully. This is now a wonderful guest room for anyone who visits us here at the farm.